In this video, I'm going to show you how to check the upper limit switch in your furnace, and if it is bad, how to jump the wires so that you can get your furnace fired back up again. Now these upper limit switches, I'll show you this is a upper limit switch for a train. They usually go out uh, when it's super, super cold outside and your furnace is running at the higher limit. Now this one here is specified for 150 degrees to 180 degrees. Now a lot of times when it's super cold outside, you're running at a higher limit and you have a clogged air filter, you're going to burn one of these up. So you go down, check out your furnace. Uh, it's blowing and it's running, but it's not blowing hot air. I'll show you how to test it. And most often than not, you can't just go to a hardware store or call somebody up and get one of those upper limit switches. You either have to do a service call, which is probably going to cost you about $160, $200. Or you can buy one off Amazon for about $40, bucks, uh, have it shipped the next day. And while you have this jumped, uh, your furnace is still running. It's just not something you can quickly get. So I'll show you how to run a jumper wire uh, to keep your house warm if this ever goes out. Now if you don't have a voltmeter, and if you look through the sight glass of your furnace, you'll see that red indicator light flashing. And it's usually going to flash a certain number of times. And then you need to pull off your panel and look at the diagnostic code. So there's going to be a diagnostic schematic in your furnace somewhere. It might be on the inside or in this case it's on the back of the lower panel. And you look over here under diagnostic codes. And you'll see right there where it says four flashes open limit switch. That's how you can tell if you have a faulty upper limit switch if you don't have a voltmeter. So another way to check is to use a voltmeter. Here's the upper limit switch I pulled out. As you can tell it's pretty burned up and it's warped. Set your voltmeter on ohms. Take your two probes and touch these two contacts. And if it's good it will say zero. Uh, any other reading, and it means this upper limit switch is bad. So right there is the upper limit switch. And we're going to pull those two wires off and jump the wires. Just make sure your furnace is totally shut off. You're just going to pull the wire straight off. Depending on where your upper limit switch is in your furnace. Uh, it's kind of hard to get fingers back in here, so I'll use these pliers. And now to jump those wires, make sure you use a piece of shielded wire. I saw in a couple videos people actually used a paper clip. Absolutely do not use a paper clip. You want to make sure that the wire you use is completely shielded so it doesn't touch any ground in the furnace. And now you can go ahead and install your lower cover. Give the power back to your furnace and it should fire right up. Now you got to remember you bypassed the upper limit safety switch. So this could actually put out some super hot air. Now in order to kind of monitor it, I stick a meat thermometer in one of your supplies, uh, maybe in a kitchen, a bathroom, wherever, and monitor the temperature of the air coming out of your supply or your kind of baseboard vent. It should not be over 120 degrees. If it is, you'll have to turn your furnace off, uh, let it cool down a little bit, and then you can turn it back on again. But that's one negative on bypassing that upper limit switch, as it doesn't have that cutoff when it reaches a certain temperature. Hope this video was helpful and informational to you, and thanks for watching.